while I'm here, I should tell you about the three different ways that I use uh, for dampening. And the first way is, is to dampen with one hand um, while you're playing. And, I, and this is, for me, it's important because uh, in percussion, not only in bass drum, but in triangle, uh, since they are sustaining instruments, since the head sustains and the triangle sustains, um, I feel that you have to have a fresh atta attack each time. So I dampen the head before each time I play it. So, sort of like this. And that's what I use for like a one-handed dampening. And it's important that, you know, you use that when it's not important to um, uh, to dampen because everything else is happening. Uh, for instance, in 1812, there's so much happening, the brass are, are, are playing loud, and so there's that, there's that one place in the 1812 where I would use this. It sounds something like this. I also use the, um, the two-hand dampening, where I have the left hand on the other side, and, and I have my knee, actually, on this side. And I use this, like, for marches and, and other things. Um, and it's, sometimes it's a little bit of a problem for people who try to do this. I'm dampening in between each note, and it's a little bit like uh, this thing where you pat your stomach and try to put something on your head. And, um, so, so here's how that looks for a march. I'm taking my knee off, and I'm taking my hand off on the other side so that the head is free. Both heads are free when I'm playing. And the third way of dampening that I use is uh, what I call the, uh, the left leg dampen. And it's, it's, important, um, it's important to use the left leg. Most of the time, well, I, there are times when I have to use the right leg, but most of the time I use the left leg. And that's when I put it up like this. And by doing it this way, I can stop the head with this part of my leg, and I can play in the center of the head. And I can take my, I can take my knee on and off, um, whenever I need to do it. <laughs> 